Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about doing some manipulative movements. At TMA with the children, sometimes we work on lifting and carrying. So lifting and carrying is, is one of the uh, four manip manipulative movements that we do. Lifting, carrying, throwing, and catching. Okay, today we're going to work on lapping. Uh, we're going to take this 50 pound boulder that I have and we're going to lap it and get it into uh, different carrying positions, okay? So with our lapping position, first what we want to do is get our feet wide, a big strong base, and get our hands situated right underneath where we need to get it, okay? Once I get it into, I squat and stand up with it, I want to put it in my lap and it's going to look something like this. Stand straight up with it, bring my feet together, and then I'm going to lap it and put it in. If I want to carry it and do a, a chest carry, I'm going to get my hands situated underneath it where I feel comfortable with it, okay? I can clasp my hands together or I can wrap my arms all the way underneath it, which is what I like to do, okay? When I do that, it's going to really strengthen up my lower back and my hips as well. So I'm just going to simply stand up with it and keep my back strong and straight, okay? To come back down, I don't want to just drop it, so I'm going to come back, put it into my lap, get my hands situated. Because the leverage works in my favor, I can actually let go of it and just keep it in my lap, okay? So I want to get my hands situated again, stand up with it, get my feet wide, and simply come down and squat with it again, okay? That's a, la a lapping technique that we use at school. All right, y'all, try anything. You can use a sandbag. You can use uh, a ball or something heavy or maybe a bucket at home that you have in the garage and put some things in it, okay? Y'all have fun with it today. Bye, y'all.